I tell you what, man, my phone goes off all night. She knows I'm working, but <clears throat> married for a long time, brother. You married? Going on three years now. Cool, cool. Yeah. <clears throat> cool, kids. We got a bun in the oven. Dude, that's awesome, man. Yeah. Congratulations Thank on that. You. Thank you. Boy, girl. Uh, we don't know yet, but I'm just uh, looking forward to getting home, I'll tell you that. Is it always this slow? Yeah, I mean, you learn to appreciate the slow times, you know? I mean, when it's slow, you know you're gonna go home. Well, if I'd known it was gonna be this slow, I'd have stayed home. Yeah, hey, brother, night you on, man. Go ahead, Central. Needed unit on route to 1321, County Road 347 for 1039. 10-4, Central, 409 en route. <laughs> We got a live home. Shit. Sir. Sir, we're going to need you to put the bag down. Sir, do you need an ambulance? Alan, get back. Alan. Sir, we need you to put down the bag. Get back. Officer down, officer down. Need assistance. Deep in these mountains hides the almost forgotten art of storytelling. Every civilization has their stories. Those that shape our future and those that embellish the past. But there are a few tales so curious and fascinating as the tall tales of the American South. Come with us today as we explore these legends and shed some light on dark Appalachia. I mean, I look good, and I sound good. Are you really sold on the intro? Well, I... And what, was, what was with that music? What? I, I think it's awesome. Are you serious? I don't, I don't know, man. I mean, the whole thing seems cheesy as fuck, if you want my honest opinion. You want a beer? Yeah. 
Uh, and no. Yeah. Uh, I, don't have here. I don't have any beer. I'm sorry. Wait, hey, put that camera down. Come, I'm, I'm going to work on this intro for you. Oh, jeez. Wait. The enigmatic Isabella's coming over. She is. Really? Yeah. Oh, did you invite the rest of the crew? No, uh, Stephanie and the answer is heck of course not. They don't care about the planet. They just want to get his body. Holy fucking shit. What the fuck is he doing in here? Hey, when you're texting Izzy, can you ask her to bring over some beer and maybe a fuck ton of groceries? How the fuck do you live like that? Mark! What? Fine, if you won't, I will. Uh, looks blue. La, 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 la. I love this fucking camera so much. It's great. Oh shit. Come in! Oh, I fucking love you. <laughs> Shit, sorry about that. It, Mark's on the phone to the fucking guy. He's a Looney Tunes, I swear. Yep, yeah, yeah, we were, um, actually we were planning on coming out there maybe in the next, like, couple of months. Is that something that, that could work for you? I'm not sure, man. I'm not really sure how much I can help you. We're still in the planning stages, basically. We, we would just like to get you, hear your story on camera. What do you think? How about an interview? Jeff, hello, are you there? Well, if I ain't trying to, uh, man, listen, y'all come down anytime next month, and I'll tell you what I know, just, just give me a heads up. Like, I think promise just gonna be what you're looking for. Shit, my daddy and stuff I like to dredge up. Why? Why? What, what happened to your dad? Like, man, just, just come on down. We'll talk. Give me a holler. Okay, yeah, no, that sounds great. We will, um, well, I'll let you know when we come down there, okay? Yeah, alright man, look, I gotta let you go. Okay. Thanks. Dude, your interview skills blow. What the fuck was that all about? <laughs> that, you don't call, call someone to start asking questions about their dead dad. <laughs> First of all, that was not the interview. That was me technically getting the interview and Hello, Izzy. I'm sorry. Uh, I did not want you to get all that stuff. I told him not to... Stupid. Told me you wanted to celebrate. I also said that you were bony and needed sustenance to live. Well, uh, celebrate might be a little early. I mean, this guy claims that he's the son of the person who found the box, but he really could be fucking with me. I have no idea. I think we should explore it. And we need as much info as we can get because I tried to do some research on that town and this family earlier today, and I came up with nothing. Hmm. Well, I mean, the fact that there is nothing in this day and age kind of probably means there's something, right? Well, sometimes it is nothing, Mark. I'll direct you back to Ghost Cabin last summer. Oh, God, Mark. Not another ghost cabin. God damn it, guys. <laughs> it is not another ghost cabin. Moving on from ghost cabin, let's look at our schedule and budget. The fun stuff, if you will. Mark, we don't need to worry about any of this right now. Let's call Yance and Stephanie, tell them the good news, and let's go ahead and celebrate. Besides, I wasn't going to say anything, but, um, you look like you haven't gotten out in a while. Alright, fuck it, let's go. Let's get out. So no one opened it? Why didn't they go back? I don't know. I guess that's what we're going to find out. As far as I know, it's still back there somewhere. And you think we can find it? That's not really the purpose, but it'll be fun to try. I mean, I want the episode to be about the origin of the story. And if it's complete bullshit, we'll figure out how to make it interesting. Hold on, we need one more round of shots. Here, take this. So, Mark, what's going on with you and David? Are you guys cool? You good? We're, we're totally fine. We talked it out. Well, you better be, because I'm not about to go into the woods and babysit a couple of children. It's fine, I promise. We have an understanding now, okay? I think it sounds cool. You have my ears. Fuck it. You have my eyes. You have my brain. Oh, and it's a very beautiful brain at that, Isabella. But we're not gonna do any of that silly mantra shit. We're gonna toast to the start of this project for real this time. David, what is it you contribute again? The asshole? <laughs> very funny. But I'm the voice and you better damn well respect it, okay? So let's toast for real this time. Come on. 
Hey, hey, do you mind taking a picture? Yeah, sure. Cheers. Okay. Uh, hey, assholes, we're going to take yeah, TP, come on. Yes, I'm blocking you. Okay, yes, be careful. Jesus, what the fuck is taking us all? <laughs> Dude, chill. She said she'd be right out. Oh, look at this place. <laughs> Jesus. Guess his boyfriend must be rolling in bank. Mm. What does he do for a living again? I don't know, he's a, he's a pharmacist or some shit. Well, I guess you could win her over with your stunning personality or something. Dude, stop it. You know she's not like that. I don't know, man. I mean, look at this place. It's with this giant McMansion cabin thing. I mean, if I had a choice between you or David, living in David, stop this... it. Stop. <laughs> Sh please shut the hell up. Fuck it. Stop it. Stop, dude. Look, she's coming. Oh, shit. And I'm polite to be punctual, Isabella. Sorry. <laughs> Did you really blow the horn at me, Mark? No, no, that was David, I swear. Yes, oh. Isabella, it was David, and on this team we value punctuality. You are on this team, right? Or I was like five minutes late. <laughs> Just answer the question, Isabella. Can we get going? <laughs> we need to pick up stuff in the antsy still. God, turn around, you! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey. Gee, he's taking his yeah. time, Stephanie. Just getting my workout in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Go on. Hey, Mark. Look at the How long till we leave? I'm ready. I, I've got everything packed up here as soon as they're ready. Let's go. We're also, we're ready. actually waiting for Stephanie, basically. Oh, Are you shocked? Oh, Are you shocked? No, I'm completely no. not shocked, yeah, I'm but I'm going to get in the car <laughs> while you guys fight Let's go. Let's All right, kiddos, interview time. So we're on our way to certain death at the hands of bloodthirsty rednecks on a quest to uncover hidden treasure. What's your last wish? To keep my butt over, Jenny. Good call. <laughs> okay, and you lovely lady? Uh, I guess it's not to get killed in the woods and uh, come out of here with a good story. I might fuck your awful at this. Stephanie, you've got to have something better than that. Butthole thing. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fine, okay. Um, we're on our way to find this big fucking chest. Uh, what do you think's inside it? Dicks. It's just overflowing with dicks. Like dick, 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 dick. <laughs> Come on, guys, seriously. Okay, so we got a four hour drive ahead of us. Are, are, are you not remotely curious as to what is inside the very fucking thing we're making a documentary about? Well, if it even exists, which there's a good chance it does not, I I'm sure it's just full of some really personal hillbilly shit. Hmm. Some guy probably lived out there. I mean, how long do we even know it's been there? All right, uh, Stephanie, if I can pull you away from your cinematic masterpiece, uh, what do you think is in the chest? Okay, well, I have to take a realist point of view on this, and I'm going to think about it factually. Mm -hmm. So that area had a lot of miners and loggers and industry workers and shit, right? Mm -hmm. So I think it is obvious, David, that the box is full of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay, fuck. Um, Izzy. Yeah. You've got to have a better answer, right? I guess, like, if it's locked up, it's something someone really doesn't want to get stolen, or, or what if it's something they really don't want to get out? What if, what if the chest is actually a coffin and the cave is actually someone's tomb? Oh, fuck. Uh, You're dark. <laughs> okay, the man, the man with the plan, Mark. Um, what have you envisioned is on the other side? Well, even if it doesn't exist or it contains nothing, I like to think of the story itself and how and why it was told in the first place. Like, like even after it was first told, it kept on going, and people added their their theories and embellishments, and and it turned into more of a teaching method or a warning or, or some kind of fable. And then it's like at that point, it doesn't even matter what's in the box because it could contain anything. And depending on who's telling the story, you know, they'll put whatever they want inside of it. Like, you know, a realist pots and pans. Um, an alarmist, the devil. It could be complete bullshit, but our theme remains intact, which is where, how, and why legends are created, you know, especially modern legends. And in that sense, really, it could contain anything. Like Schrodinger's cat. Who's cat? So, Schrodinger's cat is this thought experiment, and I'm really paraphrasing here, but there's a cat in a box, and you can't see it, sense it, smell it, 
and then there's some poison in the box and without looking you don't know if the poison has spilled and killed the cat or not. So the idea is without opening the box and peeking inside it, you don't know if the cat's alive or dead. Yep. And then there's the, um, what is it, uh, many worlds version of that same thing where the person and the dead and alive cat, you know, once the box is opened, split into two realities. One where they find the alive cat and one where they find the dead cat. Okay, so there's like this... Uh, fucking zombie space cat inside it. <laughs> I'm gonna establish that. Don't worry, David, no one expected you to get it. No, 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 no. I actually understand what you're saying. I just don't understand how this relates to our story. Oh. Hmm. Maybe you need to think outside the box. <laughs> oh. Okay, fine. So we end on a philosophical point, and that's the end of that bullshit. Okay, oh, fine. wait, 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 wait. What do you think is in it? Oh, uh, no, it's definitely dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven hundred? Eleven hundred, right? Electric company? Uh, no, my name is Mark Rogers. We spoke on the phone earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, listen, y'all go around the side of the house and come on around back. I'll meet you out there. Okay. Oh, my. All right. Um, I think it's going to be fine. Let's just go do this, but we're rolling, right? This is a really great sign. He seems very open. Hey, good. How you doing? Good luck, bro. Look at this. Look at this. Alright. 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 So what are we doing here? What's uh what's on the agenda? Um, well, we're just gonna get set up real quick. Do you have a free electrical outlet somewhere? Huh. Well, here's the thing. I forgot to pay that shit and they cut it off. Yeah, they're supposed to be coming around today or tomorrow to hook it back up, but, uh... Wait, is out here okay? I mean, the inside's a wreck, and it's fucking hot as shit in there, no electricity and all. Yeah, um, that's unfortunate, but no, we'll, we'll figure it out. Do, do we have enough battery to run the interview? Okay, Jeff, basically, we're just gonna get set up, and then once we're ready, Isabella here is gonna interview you about everything we talked about over the phone. Basically, we just want to hear your story and anything else you're willing to share, but no pressure or anything, okay? All right, everybody set? Just ready one second. Run. Sound is speeding. Okay, I think we're good. Jeff, you ready? Dark Appalachia, scene 3C, take one. Well, the way I've been told it, heard it mostly from my family, my uncles when I was growing up. Heard of him and his friend Bobby, and it's Bob Parker. They was out hunting one day up City Co, and they come across this cave they'd never seen before. Uh, it was probably due to it usually being behind this waterfall and well I was having a real bad drought around here and uh, anyway they went back up in it and they uh they found this old box like a big chest or something it's covered all these chains and locks well they didn't have anything with them but the hunting rifles so they decided to come on back to the house and go back a little more prepared you know with tools and stuff but when they got back to the house as luck would have it my mama went to labor with me so they all had to rush off the hospital so you were actually born the day the chest was discovered? After all of that, did they ever go back to find out what was inside it? Eh, not that I know of. I mean, as far as I know, it's probably still back there. I don't think anybody's ever been back. My dad died a short time after of a heart attack, and uh, old Bobby, Bob wound up killing himself that same year. He put a fucking shotgun in his mouth. So you don't think your father's death and Bob's death are related in any way? They're just coincidence? Well, I mean, Bob could have been impressed by my daddy dying, and that's what set him off or something, but I don't believe in no curse having anything to do with it. I mean, the way I heard, my daddy's overdue for a heart attack anyway. The way he'd been living, hell, oh, Bob, Bob was just a sad sack. Just a matter of time for he checked out. Oh, wait, go back. What curse are you referring to? Yeah, well, 
people tell tales, you know? Say that old box had something to do with their death. I think all that stuff's bullshit, though. Would you say the story's a bit of a local legend? Well, yeah, in the right circles. That's the thing about verbal storytelling. It's malleable. You never know what the real story was by the time you heard it. And hell, most of the time you don't want to know, because most of the time the truth is often boring as shit. But sometimes you find out those stories are true. And that shit can be terrifying. What stories are you referring to? Well, nothing in particular. I'm just saying. They ain't all tall tales based on pure fiction. So earlier you mentioned your uncles. Are these your dad or your mom's siblings? Well, they ain't, they ain't really my uncles. You know, at least not by blood. They just family friend types, you know. They started coming around after my dad died and I came back here. They just kind of come and go whenever my granny needs help. They don't come around no more. So you live here with your grandma. Is she home? Yeah, but she uh, she stepped out. Went to the store, I think. Well, what about your mother? Is she still around? No, she died. Cancer is what I was told. When did she pass away? A long time ago. I suggest we move on if you don't mind. What about Bob Parker? Does he have any family still around? That's the thing about old Bob. He didn't have any siblings, well, he didn't have any kids. His wife died, and as far as I know, his mom and dad died when he was real little, so he's been alone from the start all his damn life. Just a tragedy of a human being, really. So let's uh, switch gears a little bit. What about the cave's location? Do you have any idea where that is, where this chest was discovered? Well, I, I've been up in that area a lot. It's up there in City Co. Um, that's where my dad and Bob used to go hunting all the time. You know, my granny tells me to stay away from there, so yeah, there must be something to it, right? Have you ever wondered if it was real? What might be inside it? Oh well, yeah. I mean, I was curious about it for a while. You know, one of my uncles used to joke with us and tell us that it was a devil locked up inside that old chest and he'd drag us down to hell if we ever opened it up. That used to scare the shit out of me. I guess that was the point, though. Do a lot of people around here believe that story? A lot of people around here don't know that story. You know, I don't think of it. I haven't heard anybody talk about this in quite a while. How'd y'all come find out about it? Uh, a friend of my mother's. I actually grew up not too far from here. No shit. Now, you didn't tell me you was from around here. Come back chase a ghost story, huh? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> huh, can't stay away from home too long, I always say. Right. Well, um, I think we are done here. Thank you, Jeff. Mark, you good? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Stephanie, can you get some shots around the house? Y'all really thinking about going out and try to find that old box, huh? <laughs> well, I don't know. It's starting to make good plan. What are you going to do if you find it? I don't know. We haven't really thought that far ahead. You might want to think about that. You might open it up and let the devil out. <laughs> and on that note, I'll get that mic, Jeff. Oh no, I'd rather have mice. But I'd rather have bed bugs than roaches. I'd rather have anything than roaches. I'd rather have I'd rather have crap. Hey Mike, where's Steph? He's probably just filming some B-roll.
Are you keeping that old woman prisoner in here, man? What the fuck's going on? Look, I know this looks pretty messed up, all right? But that's Granny. And she is not well. Okay, she's got dementia real bad. She don't understand what's going on. Hell, I don't understand what's going on. Half the time, she didn't even know who I am. And no offense, but this is not an okay place for her to be living like this. What are you not telling us? Look, first of all, it ain't none of y'all's damn business. Okay, look, I think we're just gonna get out of your hair, okay? Yeah, I think you should. Come on, come on. What's going on? Come on. Did something happen? We need to leave right now, let's go. What's going on? Um, Mark, hey. can you explain to us what the fuck is going on? Grab all the stuff. We need to leave right now. Come on. Everyone get in the Jeep. I'll explain. Jesus Christ. Dude, I went inside and it is completely bare. It's like a squatter's nest. He has this old woman that he calls his grandma locked up in the back. What is she talking about? Stephanie, you, you're being dramatic, okay? What we just got is a story, and it's a damn good one. Dramatic? She was saying some seriously fucked up shit, dude. She said we were all gonna die. How could I not be dramatic? You believe that guy? For all we know, he's some murderer and she's a victim he's holding captive. Wait, there's actually an old woman locked up in there? This old just... No, you guys are fucking with me, surely. <laughs> Look, everyone needs to chill. You are overreacting. That dude is not a mass murderer and this lady was absolutely crazy. Why do you just automatically take his side? What gives him the credibility? Because you are freaking out right now, fuck, okay? Mark? Steph, did you get that on film? Of course I got it all on film, David. Guys, why don't we talk about this while we're moving? Because I don't want to get killed by some psycho memo. Mark, Bree, no, no, don't go back, don't go back in there, that, that place is fucked. Hold on, trust me. No, I don't! What the fuck is he doing? Is he really fucking doing this right now? What fucking doodle do? There's just something fucking off about this house and that dude, man. What exactly did he say? So there's this old woman, he claims is his grandma, locked up in the back and he says she has dementia and he has to lock her up so she doesn't run off. Uh, you don't think he could be telling the truth? I don't know anymore, man. I just, I don't want to be here anymore and there's something just fucked up about this. What was that all about? You're all gonna hate me for this, but... Yeah? There's something going on here. There's a much bigger story here, and that guy is the key to all of it, okay? Jesus I, I paid him for the interview, and I paid him to be our guide tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. He gave me an address that we can meet him in the morning, and he gave me the address of the bar where his dad used to hang out. This is worth following up on, trust me. Trust you? Trust you? What the fuck, Mark? Were you not just inside? I don't want anything to do with any of these people, and now you invited him to come to the woods with us? Are you trying to get us all fucking killed? This is finally getting interesting. Okay, what happened in there was crazy. Absolutely, I totally agree. But isn't that exactly why we're doing this? You want a good story, right? Well, listen, this is called Dark Appalachia, not fucking happy, fun time hill people. Okay? We're gonna go to the bar, check it out, and then we'll meet him in the morning. We don't ever have to come back here. Oh, so this is it. <laughs> this is what Jeff told us about. This is where his dad supposedly used to hang out. Jesus Christ. All right, well, here we go. Wow, it looks like they gave us directions to a murder palace. <laughs> it's better not end up a scene from dust till dawn, Mark. and get out of here. Come on. Come Take a look around. These guys are creeping me the fuck out. Where? Don't look at them, you dickhead. Dude, chill out, okay? They're just probably not used to and strangers coming around, especially now with cameras. Let's get a drink and don't worry about it. What can I get you? A uh, round of your cheapest beer on me. Oh, oh big spender. Thank you. A couple shots of whiskey. Only got beer. What are y'all celebrating? Uh, just coming back in town after long time. Uh, brought my friends with me. We're gonna go get it this weekend. Y'all making some kind of movie? Uh, yeah, well, uh, sort of. It's a documentary. Sort of. What, like that Planet Earth show? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not exactly. Uh, we're more 
getting out here and uh, trying to explore some old stories from the area. If you're looking for stories, this area has its fair share. <laughs> I've heard plenty of them in my time, that's for sure. Hey, now I can tell you some stories. I seen a black panther not two miles from here. <laughs> Jumped out of the woods, damn near run me off the road. <laughs> Thought he was gonna chase me down in my car. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest damn cat I ever seen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've all heard that story before. Still not buying it. You know, actually, we were uh, wondering if you knew any anything about the Granger family, Doug Granger specifically. Uh, we heard word that he used to be around here. <laughs> yeah, I remember them. Strange bunch. How so? Well, you know, people just say a lot of things. Uh, Doug Granger and his friend Bob, I think it was. Uh, that's a long time ago. I guess 20 years or so ago. Oh boy, his mama was a witch. Oh, no, she wasn't no witch. It's just what local kids used to say. She was weird though. Uh, yeah, um, would you mind if maybe we did an interview with you on, on camera for our documentary? Yeah, I guess, I suppose. Uh, I gotta keep serving beer though. No, that's totally fine. Thank you, thank you. Um, I just wanna ask a few questions about the Grangers, if you don't mind. Sure. Okay. I swear, when I moved here back in 78, the stories I heard made me wonder if I had made a huge mistake moving here. <laughs> I mean, there's just these really weird, dark stories, uh, unlike anything I've heard in other places, like there's something in the water. That's the damn devil. Devil's owned this town since it was settled. Indian blood woke up the devil when they started building on top of their graves. Gets in people, makes them do bad shit. Like him Granger. You think everything is a devil. The devil did this, the devil did that. <laughs> that or Indian blood. You do know that Native Americans had nothing to do with the Christian devil. They don't even believe in any of that stuff. What you talking about? The shit's bad, it's the devil. And I bet you that old Granger woman is in cahoots with the devil. Hey, um, are you guys familiar with a story about a box that's hidden up in a cave somewhere around here? What kind of box? I don't know, like a like a trunk or a chest. It was supposedly wrapped up in chains and then locked up and then hidden way back in a cave behind a waterfall. A box wrapped in chains. Oh, now there was a story about an old mine up there in the National Park somewhere. They used to mine slate out of the mountains uh, during the Civil War. And supposedly there's this big old vault down in one of those mines that contained a bunch of money or gold or something. Ah, they probably talked about that box up in the Deezer's cave. Some hunters supposedly found that back in the 50s, 60s or something. But they never was found afterwards. <clears throat> Got lost in the cave, what I heard. Now, if they found it and they were never found, then how did anybody ever know about it? Your story ain't holding up, Stan. <laughs> well, hell, I don't know. Same thing happened to Ebenezer, I guess. Smart one stayed behind to tell the tale, I reckon. <laughs> Ebenezer. Oh, that cave he's talking about, it's about 20 miles up the road in an area called Jeffrey's Hell. Now, that story goes way back. I don't know, 150 years or so. There was this guy named Ebenezer Jeffrey, and he went out hunting one day with his favorite hunting dogs. Well, something got him riled up, they went running off into a cave, and he was just about to go in after him when his friend, I think he was a Cherokee Indian, said he better stay back. Said he'd heard legends that the cave was evil, that uh, there was illusions of a false floor or a false wall that wasn't really there. Ebenezer looked his friend and said, I'd go into hell for them dogs. And he must have, because nobody ever heard of Mr. Jeffrey or his dogs ever again. Hence the name Jeffrey's Hell. Do we know where this cave is located? Is it on a map anywhere? Oh, that is highly unlikely. You'd have to have some very specific maps to find that stuff. All those old logging roads up there in the park have grown up over the last hundred some years, and the rest of them, the park's blocked off. Yeah. Y'all don't want to go messing around up there in them hills. Folks get lost, go missing up there all the time. <laughs> He's exaggerating that it's a national park. They send tour buses up in there. <laughs> the hell I am. That park but ain't just a little portion of that area. Hell, there's miles and miles of old roads and trails up in there they don't let nobody on no more. For good reason. Graves all over them hills. People died up there. Yeah, like a hundred years ago. <laughs> well, you can die just as easy today as you could back then. 
How about the Grangers? Can you guys tell me anything more about them or Bob Parker? Yeah, well, they used to come in here, I don't know, maybe three, four times a week sometimes. And this was back in the 80s, so my memory's not the greatest. I don't think I ever talked to either one of them unless they was coming in here for a drink. Never said much. I've always prided myself on engaging my customers in polite conversation, but Doug Granger, he wouldn't even say hello. Nothing. Hell, he could barely look me in the eye when he ordered a beer. I got bad vibes off of him, so eventually I stopped trying to make small talk with him. He always paid his tab, tipped pretty good, so I never had any problem with him. Yeah, I never did trust that bunch. Always into weird stuff, secret stuff. Like I said before, everybody around here thought that old woman was a witch. <laughs> And just because she was weird, which is for sure, doesn't mean she was no witch. And after what happened to her family, I don't think I'd be surprised at all if she went a little crazy. What, what exactly did happen to her family? Well, after Doug had his son, they stopped coming around here so much. Understandable, being a new dad and all. I always thought it was pretty good of him. And I don't know what set him off, but man, he snapped. <laughs> Killed that wife of his, his friend Bob too, and the boy got out alive, thank God. I think that's just because the old woman grabbed him up and got him out of there before Doug could get to him. Wait, what? Yeah, ain't that what you was talking about? Well, you no, know, I, we were told that Doug died of a heart attack. Are you telling me that's not what happened? <laughs> Shit, no, man. He messed them people up. Yeah, I don't know who told you that, but <laughs> that was a really big deal, especially for this little town. Doug Granger, like, completely snapped and started killing everybody in the room. Are you saying all this happened in the house they live in now? Which house are you talking about? Um, 1100 Trouble Road. Yeah, that's where it happened. That road sure lived up to its name for sure. Jesus, Mark, are you telling me we spent all day in a motor house? Wait, now, y'all been over to that house? Yeah, we were just up there earlier today. Uh, we were able to talk to the son, Jeff, and we actually had a run-in with the old lady, but it, it's fine now. Now, hold on a minute. Now, you telling me that y'all went over to that house, talked to that boy, and saw that old woman? Yeah. Son, ain't nobody lived in that house for years. At least they're not supposed to. After the murders, that old woman, she locked the doors and boarded up the windows and hightailed that boy out of here as far away as she could. I'm not even sure if they still own it. <laughs> Are you sure that's a place you went to? Uh, he People were living there? Yeah, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, it was, it was plenty run down, but I, they were definitely there. We were filming there all afternoon. I'll be damned. I guess I better call Russell. What did a woman look like? Oh man, she looked like an old crazy bag lady. And dirty. Yeah, and she told me I was gonna die. Yeah, sounds about right. Crazier than a shit house red as always. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. You guys have given us way more than we could have ever needed. Thank you so much. Well, hey, hey, now. That panther, eight foot long, big old yellow eyes, bigger than shit, and blacker than a coal miner's asshole. Now, he's out there. Y'all better watch out. Well, that's something, right? Uh, yeah. The plot thickens. If what they said is true, this story is way more than what we thought. Are we really gonna go out in the woods and meet this Jeff guy after what we just learned? I mean, like I said, like this story just got infinitely more interesting. Yeah, there's nothing like a good murder suicide to spice things up. <laughs> yeah, look, the real question is, are we gonna say anything to Jeff? I mean, we're gonna ask him about this horrific shit? It was a whole waterfall hunting story, just total bullshit. Good point. No, I, I think that we need to just act like we don't know anything and try to get it out of him organically, right? Let's see what lies he believes and what maybe that he's fabricating. Honestly, it just sounds like there's one story, but a bunch of storytellers putting their spin on it, right? It's perfect. Okay, well, you know my stance on the situation. I don't trust that guy. And I'm actually starting to question your sanity too, Mark. Come on, you got this. We got this. This started as a bullshit treasure chest hunt. And now look what we got. Lies, deceit, witches, mysterious caves, murder. So does that mean we're off the chest angle? I can't wait to find this box of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> we can still find it. We can still find the box of dicks. I think we need to go to the cabin, figure some things out, strategize about the Jeff situation. I don't even know if he's gonna show up tomorrow. Yeah, well, if that doesn't work out, we can almost go look for that panther. I know a guy. <laughs> Valid option. <man. laughs> On the day I expire. No, almost. We're almost there. Yancy! <laughs> Is he asleep again?
Music Motherfuckers made asleep half the way. Christ Time almighty. Wake up, sweetheart. We're almost there. <laughs> what does he do that makes him so tired? Think. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. It. Look at it. That's amazing. The bear's den. Damn. Yes. Son of a bitch. Impressed? I mean, it looks like a school. Yeah. Yeah. Yancey's a bit of a bear. <laughs> so let's go on a little bit of exploring and find out what's actually out here in the wilderness. This is a beautiful piece of fauna. Have a look at this one. Hey, Mark. What's up, man? Okay, real talk. You sure you know what you're doing? I mean, you're okay with this Jeff guy being around all of us? Yeah. I mean, he's weird and all, but if it came down to it, I think we could take him. Also, don't forget, I'm packing heat. Oh. You mean that piece shit you've been carrying around since college? Yeah, it's, it's a gun. It's better than nothing. I don't know if that's actually true or not, Mark. What are you guys talking about? Nothing, man. Did I hear something about a gun? No. No, 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 no. Oh, we were wondering if we wanted to use uh, shotgun mics. I mean, I was just going to use the handheld, but if you want me to bring shotguns, I can do that. Uh, no. No, you're fine. You do your thing. Okay, cool. You guys are going to freak. And look at this bad boy. Didn't I tell you it was nice? Look at this, this place is decoration beautiful. style. What do you think? Love what the you choice of bears everywhere. It's a fishmas tree. <laughs> a fishmas tree? Fish fry, fry night. Bedrooms are downstairs, fry and fry I night. think there's a game room as well. All the way. They messed up our booking from when I tried to get multiple cabins. Oh, okay. So they wow. give us this bad boy. Well, at least we get our own room now. Oh, it's a bear. Okay. okay. Don't want to embarrass Okay, now, is yeah. this how I do it? Yes. Is it like this? Um, yeah, I've seen it in that one. What I do at that point? Just whatever feels <laughs> natural. <laughs> Are you seriously filming us? Stop I'm just it. Testing the focus. No. Keep going. If you don't get this, you've got to clean up the cabin before we leave. Whoa. Damn it. Oh, 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 oh. What is this place? This is creepy as fuck. This is where he told you to meet him? This is what he told me. I'm not going in there. Jesus, what is this building? It's like a, an old silo or something. Is that him? Where? I think that's him. I'm over there. Dude, I reckon that's him. Is he you know, I think he's wasted. Is he alive? Hey, Jeff. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Sorry, man. God, we didn't, we didn't mean to startle you. I, when did you get here? What time is it? <clears throat> it's 7.30. What? Jeff. Are you wasted? No, nah, man. I drank them fuckers last night. You were out here last night? Yeah. Woo! Sometimes I like to come out here and just, you know, get pissed drunk. Ain't nobody coming out here to fuck with me. Um, who's watching your dementia grandma, dude? I don't know if you must know, dude. One of my uncles came over last night. He's looking after it, so I came out here. Okay. Man, are, are you gonna be able to hike through the woods? Yeah, man, ain't no thing. I'll be all right. Jeez. What is this place? Oh, you come up here to hang out? It's creepy as hell. I ain't nothing to be scared of. Just watch your ass for snakes and shit. <laughs> Okay. Y'all ready to go? Yeah, I mean, we just need to. Un Is that all you're taking? Are you, are you just taking a backpack full of beer? Yeah, got some whiskey too. Do uh, so you not have any food? I got some beef jerky and snacks and shit. I'll be all right. What's up? Need any help? I always need help, Nancy. Okay. All right, you all ready then? Okay, right, let's hit it.
So, Jeff, what do you remember about your parents? Well, we do another one of those interviews. Oh man, no, I'm sorry. I, I was just like, felt like maybe we could take a minute to. Yeah, I get it, man. Truth is, I don't remember a lot about that time. You know, Daddy was always like this shadow man in my memories. I remember him being there from time to time, but you know, I don't remember his face, what he wore, what he smelled like, any of that. You have photographs, right? Yeah, of course I got photos, but can't tell anything about a person just by looking at them, can you? I mean, we change every second of every day, and a photo is just one of them seconds. I'd look at a picture of him, and I knew it was, it was supposed to be him, but my, I guess my brain never put his face to what little memory I had of him to begin with. You know, people would talk about him all the time around here, but to me, they might as well have been talking about a ghost. Do you think that there's more to the story about what happened to your parents? Do you mean, do I believe that my dad died of a heart attack and my mom of cancer? Fuck no, I ain't stupid. Most generic story I've ever heard. Look, I know y'all went down to that bar last night and talked to them damn drunks. And I'm sure they filled your head full of stories. To tell you the truth, this town ain't never been kind to my family. They used to make up rumors about us all the time. And as far as I can tell, the only thing my dad, my mom, or my granny ever did was just try to exist here. Whatever really happened back then fucked me up in ways I'm still coming to grips with, so whatever happened, it happened. It's best to just let it go. Hey, Mark. What do you reckon? Do we need any more footage like this? Hey, Jeff, can you give us one of those beers? Um, you go, mate. Cheers. No, I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. You want to see what we just got, Mr. Director? I trust you. <laughs> I know, uh, but seriously, I don't think we need to burn any more daylight. Yeah. I think we'll just go a little bit further and set up camp. Jeff, do you have any idea how much further we're gonna need to go down the river? We damn sure ain't gonna get there before dark the way we're moving. No. All right then, we'll just go a little bit further and we'll set up camp. I would love to not have to spend more than one night out here. So, Mark, you said you grew up around here. When was that? Uh, left in 03. Guess you didn't come out here much when you were living here, huh? No, my parents were, I don't know, we camped some into the national parks and such, but it was more RV camping or car camping. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I never really was much for the woods. Shit, man. If I didn't have these woods, I don't know where I'd go. Have you ever left here? No. Never? Not even like, to go on a vacation? Yeah, my family ain't that type of family, trust me. I heard that, man. Family can be like a real double-edged sword. Like a real drain on you, you know? Like my Uncle Donnie. He's just a drain on the family. Like, it's always like, hey, somebody take Donnie a social security check. Hey, Donnie's got the gout again. <laughs> Why is it always uncles with you? <laughs> But is this the same uncle that makes the home movies that no one watches and they talk about gasoline or whatever? <laughs> nah, man. He died. We buried him with the tapes. Viking funeral. <laughs> wow. Speaking of weird family, what is up with your grandma, dude? She didn't always used to be like that. You know, Granny used to be strong. You know, she was the rock of the family, so to speak. Once her mind started going, I didn't know what to do. Yeah, I'd love to just put her in a home somewhere and get out of this town, but I don't know what she'd do if I left her. Hell, I don't know where I'd go or what I'd do. This place has always been my home, you know? Something just keeps me grounded here. It leaves me sort of stuck. You know, people come here, they get mesmerized by something foreign to them, and then they end up dying here, feeding the fucking ground. It's like a damn monster, man. Slowly swallowing up the earth one person at a time. Jeff, I mean, that can't, that can't be true of everybody. I got out of here. You did, huh? Yeah. I have sworn you're sitting here right now, Mark, in the fucking woods. <laughs> this place had you from birth, man. You only thought you got out. Hell, I may even have your friends here, too. I'm not sure how it works. I swear to God, Mark, if I am stuck in this black hole of a town, it will result in a murder-suicide. <laughs> I think we're gonna be okay. 
Murder suicide. <laughs> Murder suicide. Do you believe in God, Mark? Uh, what does that have to do with anything? I don't. Never have. The only thing I believe in is darkness, light, and power. And one thing you can learn from any religion is that the dark and light were created independent of one another. And they say that the light will always illuminate the dark, but I don't see it that way. I think they both exist at the exact same time, at the exact same moment, just with that little difference in power over another. You ever wonder why the fear of the dark is so common in us? And where that fear comes from? I mean, there are things out there in that darkness that have just always been simple as that. And I think we know that deep down. But when the darkness has overpowered the light, that's when they make the traps. And that's what we fear. It's the unknown. But if you don't believe in God, where do you think we go when we die? Yeah, I don't think we go anywhere. I just don't think we exist here anymore. And then we, we continue to exist in a world that has and always will run parallel to this one. We just hope that the one we go to next is better than the one we left, and I think that's, that's probably heaven. Does our actions in this world affect where we're going the next? Maybe, maybe not. But there are also these dark worlds, dark places and dark things that want us to come there and possibly forever. And that's hell. There's got to be a world out there where I ain't stuck here. And if there is, I feel like I am entitled to it. I just worry it would follow me there too. What do you mean, it would follow you? Just the burdens that one carries, that's all. Is that you? No. Is that you? No, I'm still in my tent. Fuck it, I'm going out. <laughs> fuck. Mark, you better get out here. What <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Hurry! Hey, can we help you with something? I have no fucking idea, dude. Uh, what the fuck was that? Who were those people? Hey guys, what's going on out there? We just saw a fuck. Nothing. We just saw a raccoon or something. It's it's nothing. Go back to sleep. What the fuck is it? Uh, it's nothing. It's false alarm. Go to bed. David, get the fuck out here. Oh Jesus Christ! Fuck. Okay, what the fuck is going on? Jeff is gone, dude. And I have a feeling that you two aren't telling me something. You need to chill out, okay? Thank you. Fuck. Mark, do you know where we are? How to get back? This weirdo was our guide, okay? And he just left with all the shit left behind? He drank a lot yesterday, remember? Uh, he probably just stumbled back to his truck or something. Okay, and it doesn't concern you that he didn't want to tell us? I mean, that's just rude. What the fuck are we supposed to do? Look, you didn't even want him to join us on this, okay? So it's like, basically we're in the exact same boat as if he had never even come. What's the big deal? We all agreed that we were gonna hike and try to find this cave, so what's the difference now? Mark, I think people are mostly worried that he's not here. Like, he's just gone with the stuff still here. Right? He's strange, man. Right next to where it's that fucking smart turn out to be serial killers, okay? No, it's not funny. He's probably out in the fucking woods watching us or some shit, or someone or something got him, and then great, we're out here with whatever the fuck that is. Also, Mark, where is this cave? How far is it? What side of the river is it on? These are details we kind of need to know in this situation. You are freaking 
boat, okay? It, it, listen, it's the waterfall. It's behind a waterfall, right? Uh, the river is not very long. We'll be able to find a waterfall. You two are not telling me something. David, what the fuck happened last night? Probably just heard a squirrel or some bunnies or shit like that. Mm -hmm. I know you two are lying to me. Did you film it? You film everything. David, give me that fucking camera. I knew it. Those are the same people that are in that creepy ass photo at Jeff's house. Ugh. That what? bitch is up to something. That and her witchy cult or shit. How are you guys not freaking out right now? What are you even talking about? Whoever that was, if, the, if that was her or, or whoever it was, they were looking for Jeff because of an emergency. Mark, are you stupid? Or are you just playing coy because you don't want me to freak out and leave? Whoever they were, they're gone now. It's daylight. I think we'll notice if there are horses stomping around. We just need to go down to the river get as far as we can, check out what we can, and then hike back before dark. We're, we're not even that far from where we parked. But why would you lie? Uh, you're right, I, I'm sorry. I should have said something this morning, absolutely. I was just very worried about the possibility of people overreacting over nothing, okay? There was just people on a horse ride. Right, Mark, because people just go casually nighttime horseback riding in ceremonial fucking rooms. Look, I'm gonna keep going because I wanna get something out of this fucking trip. And I'll admit, right now, curiosity, bit pink. Thank but you. I don't wanna spend another goddamn night not knowing where we are, or where the fuck we're going. All right, fine. Our fearless crew packing up all their shit as we head out into the unknown. Our crazy mad scientist fucking weirdo tour guide kidnapped by psycho horse people and our new fearless leader is about to take the wheel mark you better know what the fuck you're doing what the fuck was that gunshots yeah it sounded pretty close everybody hold on hold on there could be hunters or something y'all shouldn't be out here what the Jeez. fuck Jesus, man, you trying to give me a heart attack or something? Sorry, sir, very sorry. Is this your property? Ain't nobody's property. We were told that there's like a, a waterfall or a cave down this river. Do you know anything about that? Ain't no waterfall and ain't no cave. Okay, well, we, we were told it was just a little bit down this way. We're, we're shooting for a nature document. Who told document. you you could be out here? Jeff? Jeff Granger? He's a local guy. Y'all shouldn't be out here. You need to turn around. I'm sorry, do you, do you know Jeff? Don't know anybody. Get on out of here. Take them girls with you. Mark, we just have to chill. Stop. I'm going to be on my way. got to do my work. And what exactly is your profession, sir? You shouldn't be out here. You're going to get hurt. Are you threatening us, motherfucker? Well, just chill out, OK? Look, I warned you. Is it IT? That's my safe pad. You look, you look like you're progressive. I see you. OK, Mark. Okay, this shit's getting out of hand. Okay, so we've got murder houses, potential witches. Jeff is gone from last night, and now we've got this crypto weirdo walking around with a gun. Dude, calm. It's fine. But can't you feel it? I can feel it. We are so freaking close to this thing. All these things happening that you're talking about, they just make me feel like we're, we're more on the right track, yeah. you know? I mean, this is going to be great for the story. Can't you feel it? Yes, I feel it, okay? But we're making a documentary, not a fucking horror movie, okay? There's just much safer ways to get this information. Listen. We are sticking to the plan. Mark, dude, what the fuck was that? Not cool. Nothing, okay? It's fine. Here, can you shut that off? I want to save the battery. We're just gonna go a little bit further, okay? Oh. Oh. Ow! Fucking! Fuck! Okay, what fresh hell is this? You okay? I don't know, I think I just fucking sprained my ankle with some fucking shit. Oh my god, it hurts so bad. Here, give me that first aid kit. Here, here. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Shit. Careful. Get that camera oh, out of my face, yeah. David. The pulse is fine, so it's not restricted. Let me wrap it up, okay? Then we'll put your boot on it. <laughs> that should reduce the swelling enough for you to walk. And then later, when you take your boot off, we can ice it. Where the fuck am I gonna get ice? This fucking sucks, you guys. You're I'm sorry. fine. Ah, You're that's fine. not your fault, dude. It's an accident. Let's do it together. Okay. I'll try walking on it. Mm. Hey, Steph, I was only messing. Smile. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it sucks, but I think I can walk on it. Here. 
use this stick as a walking cane. Well, I'll show you what I'll use this stick for. <laughs> How much longer do we have to go, dude? I don't know for sure, Could but like I said, if we don't find anything soon, we'll random stop, shit okay? happen. Holy shit. Mark, is this it? <laughs> well, I don't know, it's a waterfall. I don't see any entrance to any cave, guys. Well, it's supposed to be behind the water, so it's gonna be pretty hard to see. When Doug and Bob came back here, it was a drought, so we might have to do a little bit of exploring. It does match all the details that people have been giving us. Okay, I think we should try this, and if we don't find anything, we call it. Oh, God, okay, fine. We do still have like eight hours of daylight though, okay? So let, let's just check this out, and then we'll book it back as fast as we can. We won't make as many stops. We'll make it before nightfall, okay? Do you want to take bets on who drowns first? I hope you know you're going in there too if they find anything. Yeah. What is it? Hey, what happened? Well, there's no cave behind the water, but Yancey found a freaking mine shaft entrance up there. A mine shaft? Yeah. Wait, wait, so now the cave has become a mine shaft. That, that doesn't make any sense. Well, remember what the bartender said. It's all here, it's just in different pieces. Uh, it's pretty steep though. We're gonna need our repelling gear. Well, is it, is it actually safe to go into an active mine shaft? It's as safe as anything else. I mean, it's been there 100 years, it's not gonna collapse now. We'll be careful, man. If we get in there and it looks bad, we'll come right back. What is it? So do you want David to do a little narrating before we dive in? Mm, no, we can worry about that tomorrow. I think we need to get down there with the camera before it gets too dark. We want to lay narration over the top of it later, we can. I'm gonna stay up here with Steph because I don't do claustrophobic shit. Here's the plan. We'll get down there. If it gets too twisty or turny or it's collapsed or something, we'll just come right back up and figure it in the morning, okay? Well, when do we call the rescue squad? We should be down there like an hour. If it's more than three, then you start worrying about us. But seriously, we're not gonna be going down there doing anything crazy. We're just gonna check it out and see if it was worth exploring more. Oh, well, it's gonna be dark, just saying. Can't believe it, guys. Seriously, this could be it. Like, do you understand that? Like, we could actually go down there and find something. It's badass. We're going to do it together. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> He's trying to say he loves us, you big softy. OK, uh, thank you. Never mind. Never mind. Uh... Just know that I think we might actually be onto something really cool, and I'm excited about it. Are you two fine up here? Yeah. Yeah, we got this. We might even save you a hot dog. Actually, no. hold on one sec. Just in case, use this. You brought a fucking gun. Don't get mad, don't get mad, it's for protection. Dude, Mark, I'm not mad. This place is creepy as fuck. I've been running a gun this entire time. <laughs> All right, good. Okay. okay, come on. Gotta get started. All right, let's do it. Here we go.
Dude, Yancey, I just saw some creepy as fuck shit. Are you, are you fucking high? Dude, fuck you, it was creepy as shit. I got it on camera, look. Let me see it. All right. Yeah, man, that's fucking weird. Why does, why does that symbol look so familiar? Because it's the same symbol that's in that creepy ass photo that's at Jeff's house. I knew he was up to something. Probably out here or something watching us. Oh, come on, man, that's fucking panic talk. Look, I don't know what the fuck that thing is, but all we can do is keep an eye out. Well, I'm getting Mark's gun. You have a gun? No, Mark had a gun and he gave it to me in case any weird shit happens, like this creepy motherfucker. Dude, I have a gun. I've just been waiting for somebody else to say something. Let's go shoot some shit. What is with dudes and guns? And no, I don't want to go shoot some shit unless I have to. You know how to use that thing, Pistol Annie? I mean, it couldn't be any different than operating a camera, right? You just find your target and... Do not point that gun over here. Oh my God, chill, it's not even loaded. I don't know about this place, man. It just creeps me out. Something's not right. I mean, how long have they been gone? They should be back soon, right? Like an hour and a half. What's the plan, dude? I mean, how long do we wait out here before we go fucking get help? Listen, we're just gonna get this fire going, then maybe we set up camp, eat some beans, camp things. And if they don't come back, are you and I gonna go looking for them? Yeah, I don't see you doing any spelunking on that broke-ass foot of yours. And I ain't going in that cave by myself. It's dark. Great, so we're fucked until morning. Cool. Okay, so we've gone pretty deep into the cave and uh, still haven't found anything so far. I reckon we should get on up and uh, try again later. Mm. Besides, uh, Mark's smartwatch decided to stop working. Not very smart. This bullshit <laughs> says it's 10.30, which doesn't make any sense. I think we should just come back tomorrow when it's daylight, check out these tunnels. Oh, yeah, well, well we've got to go this way to get out anyway. So. All right. All right. See you later. <coughs> oh, God. <laughs> Here I come. Hey, um, it's a dead end. What do you mean? I, I only marked intersections. Well, I don't know what to tell you. It's a dead end. Oh, shit. What the hell was that? Um, I don't know, but it came from down there. Guys, come on. We need to get It's going. a dead end down there. I know. Guys, caves make weird noises. Let's go. You all right? No, I'm not all right. How long have they been gone? Like three hours? I mean, how are you so calm? Because I think they probably found something. I mean, you know them. If they found something, they're gonna investigate. And I think it's highly unlikely that all three of them got injured and none of them made it down for help. Okay, but what if they're actually lost? I mean, you heard what those guys were saying about the cave. We don't even know where this cave is. And there's nothing we can do about it till the morning anyway. Look, if they're not back by the morning, we'll get in the Jeep, we'll go to town and we'll get help. This is a nightmare, man. We're gonna laugh about this tomorrow over Yancey's special pancakes. I hope so. Oh, here's your marker. No. Must have no. Uh, missed it on the last time around. No, yeah. it's another, it's another dead end. What? Yeah. What? No. I know. Guys? Whoa. Oh, shit. Fuck. Shit. Oh. Everybody stay calm. Stay calm. Oh, got it. It's cool. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Everyone cool? Oh, oh shit! shit. Oh, fuck. Hey, uh, you all right? You all right? Guys, I think we need to get out of here. Yeah, we need to get out of here. It's another dead end. Where's Mark? Mark? Oh, guys, come here! Did you find an exit? Oh, no, no, but look! Oh, oh shit, God. this is it! You know, man, um, yeah, I'm really fucking happy for you, but, uh, we got other things to worry about right now. What are you talking about? We found it. Unless there is a, a big fucking map with a way out, I don't really give a shit about it. What? Come on, help me try to open it. No, no, God, there's just dead ends in here. We need to focus on getting out. Like, we, we can worry about this later. What are you saying? This is why we came. Aren't so? you curious? No, not, not really. Not even the slightest. Oh. There's a draft coming what? off of it. Mark, what no, are you look, doing? come here, feel it. There's a draft coming out. No. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Maybe it's on top of a hole or something. Here, help me try to move it. God. God. Is this thing made of fucking rocks? Or <laughs> okay. Wait. All right. You know what? I'm not dealing with this anymore. Yeah. I'm looking for a way out of here. Weird. What the fuck are we gonna do with this? 
Tell me a secret, Yancy. What kind of secret? A secret. Something I don't know about you. I don't know, I'm going crazy over here. Well, you tell me, lead by example. <sighs> okay. Did I tell you about the time I spent in the insane asylum? What? Well, kinda. I was there for a sleep study when I was 10. I remember having these really vivid dreams. First, it was cool, you know, the dreams you could control. But then I suddenly lost control. And I was still aware that I was dreaming, but I had no control anymore. And it got super serious because in the dreams, I would catch on fire. And I could feel it. Like, I could really feel it, man. And I, I, I would wake up and I would still feel it. And it kept happening again and again, night after night, until my parents took me to the nut house and they did a sleep study on me. I was on sleeping pills until I was 17. Tonight's the first time in a really long time that I've been afraid to go to sleep. It's gonna be all right. We're gonna find him in the morning. We'll work all this shit out, I promise. I always wondered where it came from. The dream? Yeah, I mean, I was 10 years old. How the hell did I know what it was like to burn alive? I had a really intense dream like that once. I had this dream where I, uh, I broke my leg. And I'd wake up and still think it was real. And I, I would scream and I would almost have to reach to make sure it wasn't. And then when I got to high school, I was playing football and I broke my leg and it's like, for some reason, I was okay with the pain because I was just prepared. <laughs> well, I hope I never have to make the comparison. Jesus, can't imagine a worse way to go than burning. So what do you have to say for yourself now, Mike? We've been here a few hours now. I don't know, David. <laughs> no, this is what you wanted. Okay, you wanted to make a documentary. Well, here we are. This is it, the money shot. David, stop it. You're not helping. Remember, remember that guy at the bar said something about false bottoms? So oh, like, maybe this is just an optical illusion. Don't be fucking stupid, like okay? <laughs> We've scoured every inch of this room and there's nothing false about solid rock. Don't be an asshole right now, David. No! This is what you wanted. Okay, you wanted to make this thing and I'm just here documenting your creative process. So what next, hair director? Why do you always do this? Why do I always do what? Why do you always push my buttons? All you do is bitch and moan and complain and provide nothing of value. Oh uh, yeah? Yeah, that's what you really think. Yeah, yeah, the voice? What a fucking joke! Guys, we just gave guys, you something to it. do because you can't do anything! Stop it, we have to keep our heads together. No, fuck you, Mark. You wouldn't have gone anywhere if it wasn't for me motivating you the whole time. <laughs> when I met you, you were an introverted little fuckwad. Motivating! That's what you call it! You're a fucking liability guys, guys, and you always it. have it. little shit! You wouldn't have done anything or gone anywhere if it wasn't for me. And now, we're coming to this fucking case and we're here to die. Bravo, man. Great fucking and job. fuck you, David. Oh, and have you told her? Stop. Oh, fuck no. No, you haven't. Just, you stopped. You know what? Since we're in the whole caring and sharing mode, maybe I'll just talk for you, just Don't. like I always do. Don't. He's been in love with you for years, is he? And the reason he invites you on these projects is I hope that one day he'll man up and actually ask you out like a real person. Shut the fuck and up, now, David! He's brought you down here into a fucking cave like Romeo and Juliet to die in a goddamn tomb. We're gonna die down here and we're all left with just this monolith of failure as a fucking reward. David, what did you do? Nothing, I just fucking kicked it. Uh, Holy shit, the chains fell off. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> Who's there?
it's 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 like a rash or something. I I don't know. It's it's maybe it's poison ivy. It's um it's gonna be all right though. It's like my skin is burning. Oh, shit. Um. Sounds like it was right outside the tent. Listen. What the ah! fuck is ah! that, huh? <laughs> Alright. Fuck this. Here. Don't go out there. Hey, it's just some fucking redneck or something, okay? What the fuck do you want? There's nothing out here.
Hey, you okay? What's going on? <laughs> Just get in while I'm shit. I need to get the fuck out of here. I need to go to the police. Police? Who's chasing you? You okay? No, I'm not okay. My, my friend was just killed. My other three friends are stuck in some mine shaft near the river. Mine shaft? What, what, wait, who's dead? What, what, what are, you, what, what, are you messing with me? What's going I on? I need to get the fuck out of here. Well, we're all right then. Shit. Oh, I love this song. You like this song? How far away are we from town? We ain't going to town. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, you let her out. We can't just let you go. What are you doing? I have a gun, motherfucker. Right. And if I even see you reach for it, I got one of these, and I'm going to be jamming this into you repeatedly. So you're just going to sit there, and you're not going to do nothing. That answer my question. Do you like this song? No. I think it's fucking stupid as fuck. Well, that was the wrong thing to say. Come on, sleep. Yeah, I got one of them. Yeah. Yeah, I think they let it out. Oh, I was afraid of that. Oh, what a waste, man. Jeff, no, I, I ain't seen him. I'll keep an eye out. All right, I'll holler at you. Now you can go ahead and scream your little pretty little head off, but it ain't gonna do you any good. Y'all done messed up and we gotta fix it. What the fuck are you talking about? You went ahead and let it out, and now we gotta put it back in. You got the markings on you, don't you? But like, what are you stupid redneck fuck? Them markings. I'm talking about them markings. You've been marked. Now I don't know what it is, but we gotta fix this or we're all in trouble. Fuck you, let me go. Now, this is on you. This is all on you. You gotta understand that your actions have consequences. You just have to understand that and accept that. Trust me, you don't want the alternative. You've already been marked. It's got you already. There's only one way to set you free and you ain't gonna like it. Can't just run from it, darling. It don't work like that. Don't make me chase you. You have to be alive for this to work. Now, I'm trying to help you. I'm This is only gonna hurt for a minute, darling. Well, you'll be Please. set free after that, I promise. Please. Honey, this has to happen.
Any change? Nope, still just sitting there. Well, the results are back from the lab and things just got even stranger, if that's even possible. You got an abridged version of that? Long story short, that is one of our missing persons. And the sack he was carrying contained the other two, or what was left of them anyway. The blood and DNA matched the other two, as well as several other blood types that are unaccounted for. Could be the two we haven't found? Maybe, but not according to the lab. There were no matches in the database. It could be two other people we don't even know are missing. Mm. Here's where it gets strange. Our suspect here has a long scar on his abdomen, mm -hmm. a surgery scar, albeit a crude and poorly done one. But his appendix has been removed since he's been missing. It could have been at his own hands or someone with little medical experience. Jesus. But based on the tests of that scar tissue and of the decomposed body parts, I'd say we're looking at a 10 to 15 year timeline here. Well, he's only been missing for three years. The lab must have messed it up. Trust me. They were just as confused as I was. <laughs> they ran the test several times, and every time, the same result. Huh. It just doesn't make any sense. Mm. On further reading, they found that he was surviving on a, a diet consisting only of raw meat. Raw meat? I guess we know why you folks were called in. Man, this is the craziest shit I've seen here in 40 years. It's one of your X-Files. Just call me Dana Scully. So, what's your professional opinion? Between you and me? Mm-hmm. I haven't a clue. And the only person who can answer that horrible question is sitting right there. Well, it's not too late to turn around. You sure you're up to this? That's why I'm here. Let's go, detective. All right. It is currently 1,800 hours, November 17, 2019. Special Agent Kara Mills, along with Detective Harold Gardner of the Monroe County Police Department to interview one John Doe, allegedly known as Mark Aaron Rogers of Loudoun County, Tennessee. This is FBI case eight dash hotel alpha dash two one nine seven six okay so mark can you state for me your full legal name do you know the name mark rogers does that sound at all familiar to you Are you aware of where you are and how you got here? According to your DNA report, you are Mark Rogers of Loudoun County. Is that correct? Mark, I want you to look at these photos. Can you do that for me? And let me know if you recognize anyone. Oh, Mark, Mark, Mark. Would you save us all a big headache and answer the questions? Mark, it seems as if you recognize these people. Can you tell me when the last time you saw either of them? It's not a box, it's a doorway. 
What do you mean it's not a box, it's a doorway? What, what box are you referring to? It takes them. It took me. It's not a box. It's a doorway. Where did you take them, Mark? Where did this doorway take them? How'd you get back? Where have you been this entire time? Where, Mark? Where is this doorway? Where terrible, did it take them? Terrible things. I'll show you everything. All right, all right, motherfucker, on the ground, man! Huh?